Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. It, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to, to talk to you. I listened to you for many, many years. You got a great radio voice. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I used to I used to listen to Art Bell for many, many years. Who? Uh, uh, the, the guy in the Philippines. You know. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yes, I know. Anyway. Hey, thanks to Art. If Art wasn't where he was, I wouldn't be where I am today, right? Yeah. Exactly. Well, my question is, or, or what are your thoughts, uh, reverting back to a prior question was asked about how people are changing. You know, I do a little research, and uh, I think, uh, my view is GMO. There's a lot of additives going into the foods, a lot of the chemicals, a lot of stuff that's, you know, that's not right. Mm -hmm. And this is, I've been looking back, and I think around the past 20, 25 years, you've seen more road rage. You've seen more this and more that that's not, wasn't there years ago, you know. And, and I'm yep. pretty sure that some people here also tell you that I think there's a lot of, a lot of chemicals, a lot of stuff that's being put into the foods nowadays that are just not good for you. Oh, you're absolutely right. You know, just I mean, because it says preservative, it's not going to make you, you know, it's not going to preserve you. I mean, it's going to, you know. Yeah, it preserves you a different way. Exactly. So uh, just your thoughts on that, you know. Well, we're, we're opposed to GMOs, and we have a number of guests on uh, this program, Coast to Coast, that are opposed to GMOs as well. Did you know that the House has passed legislation, it soon goes to the Senate, that will prevent states from forcing companies to tell you that their foods are GMO. Ridiculous. I mean, I want that choice as a consumer. I want to be able to go into a store and see something that says organic or non-GMO or GMO and then let me, ch let me choose, let me pick. Genetically modified foods are dangerous as far as I'm concerned. I think they have contributed to the destruction of the honeybee, which could ultimately destroy all of us when there's not enough pollination going on. But you're absolutely right. GMOs are dangerous, and we need to keep fighting that too. Look at all these things these people do because of money. The haves and the have-nots. Sir, it's unbelievable yeah. that a country like Mexico has outlawed GMOs. They're smart. And other countries, a few countries in Europe have done the same thing. Not us, because there's too much money involved. Yes, sir. George, uh, very honored to be with you and ask you a personal question. Sure. Uh, I've been doing some sort of research in regard to the CERN project, the Hadron Collider. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information in regard why what are they doing. What can you tell us that they don't want us to know? What is exactly the purpose and the goals for this project? Because apparently there is something big going on in a matter of weeks that they're going to try to open up a gate. Wormholes. Wormholes, stuff like that. Share with us your information on that regard, please. Well, what we do know is that what they wanted to originally do is find the so-called God particle, the Higgs boson, it's called. A particle that they think is part of what has jump-started life throughout the universe. And now they've decided, now that they've done that and they claim that they found it, they want to learn a little bit more. So now they think that they can make little wormholes. What's a wormhole? We think it's something that had matter, maybe a star, that imploded within itself and now has basically sucked itself in. So if you were by the wormhole, it would just pull you right in. The question is, what's on the other side of it? Other people are theorizing that there are other universes and places like that. Who knows? Here's the danger. If you make these little wormholes, what if they get bigger? And if they get bigger, will they gobble up the planet? Most physicists say, no, it's nonsense. It's not going to happen. A few of them say it could. Is it worth that risk to do something like that? I think when you play around with Mother Nature too much, you're headed for disaster. This universe created things on this planet and elsewhere for a reason. They didn't make it to be changed and altered. And I think we're headed for trouble when we keep doing that.